All right, just a quick video on how I uh, soldered a flex watt. I start off with an extension cord, female end. I cut off. And then I split it down the middle about a few inches just so it goes around the flex wide for the three inch. And I take a little bit off. Each end expose the wire. My next step is I like to wrap a piece of solder around the copper on the wire so I can prime it so it makes it a little easier when you're uh, putting it onto the uh, flex watt. Doesn't have to be pretty, just a little bit. You take your soldering iron. just melt the solder over the copper just so it has a coating of the soldering on it. Doesn't have to be pretty. If it drips on a table, just pick it up, remelt it. that's that. The next spot is where a lot of people get confused at. I'm going to try and do this one handed. If not, then I'll have to set the camera down. Alright. I got it taped down just so it doesn't move. You got your two pieces. This is a three inch six watt. I use I cut it 17 inches. It's how I do all my racks. So if a thermostat were to die, I can always hook it one rack to another rack that has a working thermostat. It's just a safety precaution. Now what I do, hopefully this shows up good, is I melt a little section right here of plastic. You may have some solder on the tip of your soldering iron, which is fine, don't worry about it. Set that down. Grab your razor. scrape off the extra plastic if there's any. You'll probably see some copper starting to show through. That's that. Now the next part I like to do is put a little um, primer. Hopefully this shows. There. Put a little primer on the spot that was just soldered on the flex so it just makes it easier when you're connecting the cord that's that now you see it's primed now here's the tricky part trying to do this one handed hopefully I can get this to show up on camera take one of these, it don't matter which side is which because you're going to make your own positive and negative. What I do is I just set it right on top of the primers, put the soldering iron on it, melt it. It's connected now. Next side, same thing. Melted. It cools down in a few seconds. That's that. It's connected. Soldering solder that I use is the uh, Rosin Core 0.032 diameter. You got to make sure it's for electri electrical. Next thing to do, you got to. I already did this end. You want to cover the act that right there. The connections on the end because there's right here is a little piece of metal showing. On this end, do the same thing. I can get it to show.
damn it. Damn camera. Should get the idea once I get the one side done. Don't know if this is in view, I'm just trying to do this real quick. Your first time might take a little longer than this. But you want to make sure you cover the entire copper that you cut off from the wire this way so nothing's shorting out and it's fully covered, grounded, everything. Tape that back down. There you see, it's fully covered now. Now all I gotta do is plug it in real quick. Now that it's plugged in, heats up instantly. Now if you have the clips, you don't get this fast heating. And usually it'll peak around 120 when it's soldered. And that's it. And all you gotta do is just tape it to your rack and you're done.